Hello, my name is Terry White, and welcome to Project Roam. Well, now we're going to take a look cr at creating websites with Roam. So we're just going to go Create New, and we have a website category here. I'm going to start with the flower shop because it's a little bit more visual and further along, just so you can get a look and feel for how this works. Now, in our flower shop template, there's a master sheet. The master sheet allows you to put the elements on it that you want on every single page of your site. So we'd want the logo, which you'd replace with your own, your own text, your own images. Those would be on every sheet of the site. So there's an About Us or Home sheet, I should say. Then there's the um, About Us sheet. And then there's the Other sheet <laughs> and the Contact sheet. And in each case, you would go in and customize this. Now let's do a quick preview to see what this site looks like and how it works. So when I click preview, we can close this. We can go to the about us. It takes us to that page and we have these buttons with rollovers, including an animation that allows us to go ahead and customize this any way we want and preview it right here inside of Rome. So great to be able to do this, but you're saying, how do I do it if I want to do it from scratch? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and create a new one. In this case, we'll create a new blank one. Now, even the blank one has some default buttons and sheets that to, to help you get started because we realize some people are, don't want to start completely from scratch. But there is a home sheet, and in this case, the navigation is on the home sheet. So let's say I wanted to add my own page about us because they don't have one, and I'll have to add my own sheet and navigation for it. So let's go ahead and insert interactive component. We'll do a button. And again, this is just a standard default button. We can change the size, shape, color, whatever we want it to be. We can put it anywhere we want it to be in the document. And keep in mind, we're doing this on the master sheet so it appears on every sheet in the document. We'll double click to get into the group. We'll go ahead and change the text to about us, or we'll just say about. And now we can double click out of that, and that is our button, but it doesn't do anything yet. We didn't tell it where to go. In order to do that, we have to go ahead and create the new sheet that it's going to go to. That new sheet is going to be called, it's great to name it so you'll be able to reference it when, it's, when the time comes. We'll call it About. And just so we know that we clicked on it, let's go ahead and add some text. And we're just going to say, we're great. <laughs> That's about us. Okay, we'll select that text. And again, using the standard Roam properties, we can go ahead and use the fly out here. We can increase the size of that text. And now we'll know when we're on that page. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and scroll up. Again, we have our home page. We have our button, but we haven't done anything with the button yet. So let's go back to our master sheet, select the button, and we'll go ahead and do an event. On button click, add an action. That action is going to be go to sheet, and then we want the sheet to be about. So it just walks us through the whole thing right there. So now when we hit preview, it takes us home where it starts. We have our rollovers for home, news, and contact, so we can go to each one of those pages. But we can also now go to our new about page. Creating websites with Rome is just that easy. Once you're done, you just output your website and upload it wherever you want to host that particular site that you just created inside of Rome. Add all your graphics, your colors, your vectors, your images, your animations, just like you would any other Rome document. That's my time, and thanks for watching Creating Websites with Rome.